Right, one of the questions on yesterday's video about packing was how I pack bowls. So I'm going to do, well, I'm packing two bowls of different sizes today. Um, but they're actually not just the bowls, they are more awkward orders generally. So there's a few. This one is a large fruit bowl and a large mug. So you've got Nautilus fruit bowl and then a large peacock eye. I don't know if you can really see that peacock eye mug. Um, and then I always chuck a little gift thing in as well. Um, which I should have said before I wrapped it, but that would be a little kind of shot espresso, whatever you want glass, but basically a small tumbler, 150 approximate mil capacity. But the thing that I really like about these as gifts is that they go very neatly inside the mugs. So it adds a small amount of weight, but it doesn't add any um, volume to the overall order. So I put the packing peanuts at the bottom and then depending on how much bubble wrap there is and how much space there is, I pad around it so it can't move at all. So that, that's not going anywhere. That's held completely in the center. Um, so it can't touch the wall, so it won't break the mug. Um, and then wrapping the mug is the same as the mug I did yesterday. around with a folded bit of bubble wrap. Right, so, we've got the mug. Now what I would do, depends on the different forms you, you're wrapping. But in this case, if you've got one mug and a bowl, you can nest the two of them. Like so. Making sure there's plenty of padding between the mug. I mean, there's going to be a good inch of padding between them, so there's, there's no chance of them making contact. But just because they're such uh, different shapes, and if you wrapped the bowl as a bowl, which is what I would do, but I was just sending the fruit bowl, um, but then as previously mentioned, I'd um, send a gift anyway. So. I would generally give a bowl as a gift for a bowl because a smaller bowl will nest very neatly inside um, a big bowl. But all I will do for something like this is literally fill it with the packing peanuts and wrap it. And all the bubble wrap is there to do in this instance really is just hold everything in so nothing can move here it's all held tightly together and then the packing peanuts will do the rest of the work for holding it um, it's very useful to have a range of box sizes this one has an internal capacity of 350 by 350 by 200, which makes it perfect for the large fruit bowls. Um, depending on what spare packing material I have, I do reuse These air pockets are very useful for the size you can just see them do. Um, if you put them in the corner, and then around. just because they're lighter and um, a 
and better to reuse stuff than use brand new packing peanuts. And what I really want is the bowl to not be capable of touching the bottom or sides. So that, there's plenty of room. In fact, I'm gonna put a few more packing peanuts underneath it. So what you're going for is making sure it can't possibly touch anything. At some point, I might build myself a hopper. I've seen people with um, hoppers and funnels to... Why this box is really badly folded? I don't know if you can see that, but each one of these flaps is, as it bends away, the, the really, it's like it's been done by someone who can see what they were doing. It's all been by machines, I don't quite how they've managed that. But, again, you want to pack them in. Tightly. Get in there. Gift mount in, gift mount and invoice rather, and stick it. So that comes in at just under three kilos, and that's a medium box, but most cars you give the exact size to. Uh, and I think that will cost something like £40 to ship to the States, something in that ballpark. And the next set of things I've got is actually quite similar, but tumbler, and this time it's a cereal bowl. So, big look at a cereal bowl, uh, sunset. So let me tumble. So the question is, is it better to nest these? Because again, you can nest them like that, but that increases the height. Or put them side by side. I think in this case, to pad them out, not gaining anything by putting them side by side. So what you could do, I'm going to nest them and put them in a slightly smaller box than this. This is where it gets fiddly when you don't have exactly the right size box. Now if I was wrapping the bowl on its own, I, it's actually quite similar to a mug really, fold the paper in half and then I would wrap it like that. The advantage is that this means you don't have to fill um, the inside with packing material. This will hold it. And this is another reason why this is preferable in some ways to the paper, which would be more likely to tear if you used its kind of structure for that. Um, but because I'm sticking this in here, I'll fill this. Again, you want to maintain as much 
padded distance between the two of them as you can. So in this case it's not going to be able to come anywhere close because there's so much packing material between the two of them. Um, and then it's probably too tall to do it that way. No, no, maybe not. small bundle. So what I will do is I'll take a little bit of height off this box. Um, this is a 200 by 200 by 200 box which is a very useful size but quite often what I really want is something more like 200 by 200, but I want 50. Um, and it's always easier to carry the larger boxes and just trim them down like this. So you want to, before you've folded out the flaps, you want to make sure that you put your new folds in um, and give something to fold against. So that really is quite good. And then you get a crisp line and you haven't compromised the strength of that, but if you fold it first, you'll have that will be a permanent weak spot where it's now the whole thing folds down together and that will be reasonably strong. Where it overlaps, what I do is pin the two down together and then cut through. little extra cardboard where they overlap in the bottom so it will be a bit stronger for it. Um, and this should be slightly cheaper to post. And then obviously you'll use less packing material and they can get more of them on the plane. So everyone wins. This quite a lot of clearance as you can see with that around. So burrow it in, fill in the gaps and there's plenty of padding keeping that safe. Should do. 